singers. It's Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, joining you for another episode of Quick Singing Tips. Today, we're hanging out together at the Brooklyn Bridge. It was completed in 1883 and has long been one of New York's most iconic landmarks. The Brooklyn Bridge is perfect for a walk, a bike ride, or taking in some of the most stunning views of Manhattan. Or if you're like me, you could use it to discuss vocal pedagogy. Which leads us to our question for the day from Amanda A. in Vancouver, British Columbia. Amanda writes, Dear Justin, I've heard the word bridge used in singing, like first bridge and second bridge. What is a vocal bridge? That's a fantastic question, Amanda. A vocal bridge is a term often used alongside words like transition, break, or passaggio. We explored this topic in episode 45 of Voice Lessons to the World. Essentially, a bridge is a note or region of notes in your range where the vocal folds desire to lighten up. Usually they want to lighten up to falsetto, head voice, or any cricothyroid dominant register. Whoa. But most contemporary singers aren't looking to lighten up the vocal folds too much. They're looking for the stronger, solider vocal productions that we hear with chest voice, chest dominant mix, or thyroarytenoid dominant productions. Whoa! The problem is, everyone's vocal range desires to switch into lighter gears at certain points. For both men and women, some common bridge notes are E4, A-flat 4, and B4. These areas are notorious for causing the voice to want to lighten up too much. If we just kind of fall off the bridge, it sounds something like this. Troubled waters. If we burn our bridges, it sounds something like this. Like a bridge over troubled waters. But if our bridge is water under the bridge, it sounds something like this. Like a bridge over troubled waters. So how do we successfully cross over our vocal bridges? Let's look at three ways. Step one, build your foundations. The first thing you need to know for crossing a vocal bridge is actually to jump off. What does that mean? It means to allow your voice to have what it wants. Some singers are so afraid of cracking and breaking that they build up tons of tension in those transitional territories. The fix? Let your voice flip. Let it break. Let it crack. This allows the CT muscle to take over and for the bridge to be produced in its lightest, healthiest, easiest way. If the foundation of your bridge is not built on CT dominance, you'll always be on shaky sands. Step two. Make a plan. Once you've allowed your voice to flip, go bravely across your bridge. Hey. What did you notice? Was it easy to do? Or were there some bad habits there? When we push across our bridges, all kinds of habits are possible. Try to identify precisely what the problem is as you cross your bridge. Here's some possibilities. Breath and volume. Are you using too much or not enough? The larynx. Is it rising in unwanted ways? The neck, jaw, and tongue. Can you see or feel any excessive tension? Vocal fold compression. Are you using enough compression to stay out of head voice? Or are you using so much that you're getting a pressed, squeezed sound? Look at all these factors, identify the issue, and then it's time for step three, cross. Smoothing out vocal bridges takes patience and practice, but many singers fail because they're in too great of a hurry. 
We might be practicing hard, but are we practicing smart? Step three is to cross your bridge, making 100% sure that you don't use the habits you found in step two, like the larynx. Hey, or the breath. Hey, or the jaw. Hey. If you give your voice a chance to get across in the right way, then you'll be stunned by the power, the majesty, and the beauty of a well-constructed bridge. Here's some more things that I hope will help you get to the other side. For voice lessons or Skype lessons with the NYVC staff, visit us at NewYorkVocalCoaching.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do at home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World Vocal Course. This 12-part program takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. You can find it at VoiceLessonsToTheWorld.com. Or if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at DailyVocalTips.com. And now, here's Justin with this week's Vocal Benediction. Life is all about transitions. We can never stay right where we are. But when we avoid transitions or we fight them, we miss something. We miss the fact that the bridge itself might be the beauty. Things might be smooth for you, or they might be bumpy, but you will get to the other side. In the meantime, let's try to enjoy the view from the bridge.